Good evening, YouTube, or should I say good morning now that it's tech, it's almost midnight. The reason I'm making this video really late is because I just got home from work and the buses are really slow because of the snow. But I'm coming at you got style. Colored my nails, black lipstick. Got six earrings now. So anyhow, that's not what I'm here for. I'm not here to show off my gothness. I'm here to show you guys my uh, model up, model railroad update five. Oh boy, this has been a long time coming, and I waited so long because one item on eBay was delayed, and there's another item coming very soon. So that'll be my, that'll be update six. So, anyways, let's get down to it. I actually bought some stuff tonight too, but anyhow, we'll we'll talk about that all in a moment. So, anyhow, let's begin. Over here in the window. I took out the um, the G-Scale Polar Express. Now, unfortunately, to clear out inventory, you know, when you buy something, you eventually gotta get rid of something. You gotta add and subtract somewhere. So I got rid of all my G-Scale tracks, you know, since I didn't have any space to display them anymore. So I got, and I got rid of the frozen locomotive, but I did keep the freight cars that were in the suitcase there. But anyhow, I only have, you know, enough straight tracks, you know, from the, from the front of the locomotive all the way to the, you know, observation car. So I got rid of all the tracks and the frozen at locomotive and tender. But that's fine because someday in a frozen, I'm going to take that with me into a frozen pond and reenact it myself. See if the train will really move on ice. Jiminy Christmas, the ice is frozen over the tracks. I, but for now I took the batteries out because I don't want them to die. Because if you keep batteries in something without using it, it'll die. And speaking of batteries, we'll get to that in a sec. But anyhow, yeah, as you can see, I, I moved the laser discs and the three monst horror monsters there in the corner. So there's nothing here anymore. Now on to the layout. The centerpiece is a giant, huge-ass spider which lights up. The back has a switch somewhere. There. I was able to shorten the legs a little bit by bending them and have it, have it, have it hover over the layout. There, see? Now it lights up and blinks and everything. Thank you, Leo Kim Video, for the inspiration, even though I'm like six years behind, I'm like six years late. So anyhow, um, I put the little monkey from the James, uh, the uh, Thomas set there. Uh, Boko, I, um, the coal hopper from the uh, Mountain Express set is now the wheel converter for Boko, you know, if I want to transition him to HO. I still have his Tomy counterpart over here. Um, I moved Harold. I bought three beetles from Dollar Tree which is kind of sad that there's only three, there should be four, no pun intended. Um, I bought Bachman Cranky, and I put a little boulder in his hook, you know, from the Cave Collapse set. Um, this is my Hot Wheels, Thomas. I've had that, I just never displayed it. Uh, as for the big loader, I shortened it down. I removed two straight tracks to shorten it, so that way I was able to fit in this little spot right here. And also, because the tracks are very easy to break, if you try picking it up independently, it'll come apart. So the table that was, you know, supporting, you know, the monsters over there is now here so I can pick this thing up with ease. Now, even though the only problem is with this table is that it has curves at the end. So Thomas would, you know, tend to not tip over, but he would like, so he would like, you know, slip on the rails since it, you know, gravitates up a little bit. So the two extra straight tracks I took off, I put underneath Terrence's platform. So that way he moves at ease. And I put a skull in there. I mean, I still got the balls. Still don't want to use them. Uh, I bought two cactuses from, uh, wooden cactuses from Dollar Tree. I, I painted them green. Um, now, unfortunately, Hedwig stopped working. The, you know, the, the mechanism inside of him stopped working for whatever reason. I have no idea what happened, so rest in peace. So I just keep them there for show. I now made an oval and, uh, you know, a little bridge. Uh, this, the King Kong was actually a surprise. I got him 
at Target. He came out of nowhere. He was actually in the Thomas section. I'm wondering if somebody left him there. Well, I got him <laughs> in case you wanted to come back for him. Comes with a, he's made by NECA, of course, so he's gonna come with accessories. Comes with an angry face and a, you know, getcha kind of hand. Um, I put all the, fa the the animal masks back on the main engines, except I swapped Thomas with James's. Um, anything in the drawers? I mean, I adjusted them. Oh, the cow catch is a funny story. I'll get to that in a sec. Um, oh, I decided to keep the brown box car. Oh, and I move. I put all the boulders in the the other three boulders in the gondola. In here, um, which used to be the G scale engine, I just put like you know logs in there, and the two battery engines that fit on the HO tracks. Um, the um, the Christmas train down here is an interesting thing. I basically remodeled it to look like the mountain engines because it because the mountain engines push, they don't pull. So I removed the cow catchers, it snapped off with ease, and I took the nutcrackers off and replaced them with Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr. John Lennon and George Harrison are just chilling on the, the boiler, and it still works fine. You know, it goes in circles, around and around. I'll show you guys quick. Where's the switch? Oh, ho, ho. Oh, I also forgot to mention that I got um, Wooden James. I think it's 2001 James. It doesn't say James is tender underneath. Uh, it's plastic coal and the plastic funnel, which is good. So I'm happy about that. I mean, I wasn't too happy about Henry and Gordon, but I couldn't believe how detailed they were. And the, because they came together and my two favorite tender engines, I'm like, yeah, despite, you know, painted coal, why not get them? Uh, also, I used the um, the old Sturgis Christmas caboose coach uh, passenger cars as support beams. So anyhow, here's why this this video took so long to you know make and upload. Is this this fucking thing was caught up in the storm, the snowstorm, the nor'easter we had recently up in New York. Um, it, uh, it, it took forever to come in the mail. It was delayed. It was two days late, but here it is for the first time in a decade, at least I own the Soto Railway Repair and I'm so happy, even though it's got a couple of scuffs, I'm so happy. It's got the plastic, it's got the removable plastic chute. And as a and I, as a kid, I didn't realize, you know, the ridge right here, I guess it was for that weird widow's peak, uh, thingy. Yeah, it's got the troublesome truck, which was not seen in the real story. Ballast. Very underrated railway series character. This is he's he's debatably my second favorite railway series character, even though unlike Bear or Diesel 7101, he doesn't speak at all. He does, he does he's not even mentioned. There's just one shot of him in the opening to ballast. Uh speaking of woodens, I got this on Sunday at uh Card Smart near my near the gym. My gym. It's a Melissa and Doug figure eight wooden train set. At first, I wasn't going to get him because I was afraid the Tommy Boko wouldn't fit under there, but I took a chance, and he and yes, indeed, he did fit. Oh, and speaking of that train, I, um, me and Brendan were thinking of customizing our own engines, so instead of getting another Gordon and painting him red, I just <laughs> did this. The engine that came with it, I cut one of my graduation, uh, excuse me, I had to scratch, scratch my nose. I took one of my tiny graduation pictures. I have a million of them. I cut it out and put it on here. I colored, I covered his numbers with electric tape and and number eight on the tenders. So there you go, Anthony the Tank Engine is born. Now this thing right there in that blue box was the is the final thing for this update. Just putting Anthony back. All right, here we go because we're you know about to crack the ten minute mark. I mean, this is kind of a ripoff, but with good reason, and it doesn't really bother me. Now, Trains Are Fun is a, is a YouTuber, and he did a mystery thing on this, and I've I've shown this, 
I've, you know, shown that in another video, you know, me at TJ Maxx in uh, Bricktown. It's, um, it's like a mystery box. What is it? Well, the reason I got it is because it was on, it was $8 on clearance. That's the yellow ticket means final sale. Red ticket means clearance, which means it could still, price could still go down, but $8, you really can't go wrong. Now, one thing is missing and it was open. This is, a, I originally thought it was a water tower, but it's actually a satellite tower. It moves up, spins. Welcome to the Sodor Search and Rescue Center. Work together to clear the tracks. Unfortunately, it, come, it came with a wood diesel, but some little shithead stole it. <laughs> That's fine. I don't care for diesel that much. I mean, I do like diesel, devious diesel, but... I don't, I just realized I don't, oh, I never bought any of the wood characters, not even ironically. However, it does come with the uh, Dustin and the Sodor Storm Team book. Maybe I could, you know, remake this with Brendan. So yeah, it's not really the end of the world. I could probably find the old style diesel and then it'd be all right. But then again, I don't have Thomas. So yeah, <laughs> I haven't, you know, used any of these yet. These, this literally came in the mail today while I was at work. And so, yeah, the only other thing I can mention is that the tracks are gone. That's it. And I moved the elephant there. So, yeah, this has been a huge-ass update. So, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you especially, Brendan. I hope you sat through this. Oh, and I put a skull in the trolley. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, stay tuned for Model Railroad Update 6, which is another uh, thing, even though it's just one thing. But you never know. I could buy something else. I want to be careful, though, because... Two, um, I have two paychecks that are, you know, delayed. They might come together, they might not. They might be combined, who knows. So, at least my stimulus came. So, anyhow, uh, TMI. So, anyhow, uh, good night, everyone. Peace. And I'm not going to edit this because the longer the video is, less chance I'll be able to update, uh, edit it. So, good night, everyone. Peace.